leaked internal documents from the Census Bureau warn the shortened deadline has the potential to lead to, quote, serious errors. The documents were sent to Congress as part of an investigation. They warn that the shortened timeline and the changes to door knocking and data review will lead to a less accurate result. Tonight, we've learned that Texas will use as much as $15 million in COVID-19 funding for an ad campaign uh, to try to promote the U.S. Census. Participation in Austin and several other cities in Texas is down this year, and that could cause the state to lose out on hundreds of millions of dollars in federal monies. KXAN political reporter John Engel found out some believe the state waited too long to get involved. I do wish that money would have been available earlier. The Texas Secretary of State accepted bids for the ad campaign through Wednesday, but the office wouldn't say why federal dollars for coronavirus relief are being used for a census advertising project. It is something that's been out of our control locally. I'm, I'm, any help is good help. Census participation is down nearly 4% in Austin compared to 2010. Local communities and nonprofits have largely been left on their own to drive participation since the state legislature voted against establishing a statewide census committee last session and Governor Greg Abbott chose not to make one on his own. We've seen the census in the past three decades really be a bipartisan thing led by you know different state leaders and governors to get it done. Um, unfortunately, it, the, the support wasn't there this time. Time is running out. Travis County is targeting hard to reach neighborhoods, saying 12% of the county either has limited internet access or none at all. State support or not, Constable George Morales doesn't want any money for parks, hospitals, or schools left on the table. In the precinct four community, a lot of times we were left out. Not this time, that was my effort. John Engel, KXAN News. Governor Greg Abbott's office did not respond to our request for information about why federal coronavirus relief money was being used for a census advertising campaign. Taking an in-depth look at other Texas cities census response rates, San Antonio is 1% below Austin at 62%. Houston and Dallas self response rates are both at 55%. Laredo is one of the worst in the state of Texas with less than half of their citizens responding to the U.S. census so far.